Welcome to Star Signed Horoscopes, presented by Astrology Hub. This is your place to discover how each zodiac sign can work with this week's astrology. I am your host, Jamie McGee, an astrologer, author, and a member of the production team here at Astrology Hub. And I am really excited to dive into this week's astrology with you. Hey guys, welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. I am your astrologer, Jamie McGee, and today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for July 29th through August 4th. I do hope you're having a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I doubt that the next few days will be boring. I would assume that some of you are already starting to feel an electric vibe in the energy. There's a strong mix of reflection and forward motion occurring at once. First off, we have Mercury opposing Saturn. Now, simply put, this is a report card moment. You will see how well you have been communicating the directions and actions of Saturn in the area that he's working on in your life, which will inspire you to make changes and keep charging forward with his direction. Now, to help this out, we do have the sun who will trine Jupiter this week. This is an easy flow of energy that will build confidence and optimism to help you work with whatever you uncover. Now, in addition to this, wherever Taurus is in your chart, you can expect a lot of high energy and drive this week as the North Node, Uranus, and Mars meet up. We'll talk about where this is for each of the signs when we get started. We also have Mercury moving into Virgo this week, offering attention to detail and support to transitions in an area of your life. With that being said, guys, let's get ready to dive into the signs. Now, just as a weekly reminder, please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising. Okay, Leo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses for this week are going to be one, taking a serious look at your partnerships to understand what has been too constricted or needs to shift. Two, acting on unexpected twists arising around your career or reputation. Three, entertaining offers that invite you to expand or share your voice with a larger audience. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. The invitation for you this week is to deeply consider partnerships and how they are impacting your reputation. Now, this could be one-to-one -one clients, friends, or open enemies. You may find yourself contemplating if your view has been too narrow around these partnerships, or perhaps if you need outside sources to help guide you. Now, as Mercury moves into Virgo at the end of this week, communicating who you are and what is valuable to you will be easier. You will also notice a lot of drive and motivation and excitement occurring around your reputation or your career, just how people know you. Breakthroughs or new ideas in this area will further support the need to reevaluate your partnerships or who you are wanting to partner with. Now, as you consider these changes, be sure to look deep within to what is connected to your heart, to that soul deep value. That's where you're going to find your answers. Lean into invitations that make you feel alive and inspired, like on fire. This will guide you to the right teacher and platform to support the shifts that are happening at every corner of your life. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, taking a hard look at your work, health, and daily routines. Two, acting on breakthrough inspired energy around new directions. Three, working with opportunities that arise behind the scenes that are guiding you toward the changes that you were pursuing. Now let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, Virgo, you have been busy restructuring your daily routines, something about your health and your work for a while now. This week, 
you will see a reflection of what has been accomplished. Now, based on what you like or dislike with this view, you will be inspired to make changes. Get that to-do list out. Now, don't be afraid to broaden your view or ask for support. It's possible that teachers or mentors will inspire you or help you with these changes. Look for new faces that bring joy and excitement into this area of your life. Now, as Mercury moves into your sign, Virgo, you will feel empowered to express yourself. Use this energy to move things forward that have felt stagnated or topics that just really need a fresh start, a good new look at it. Look for opportunities that invite in beautiful endings and beginnings that support the transitions that you are currently going through. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Libra, let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, evaluating structures around what you love unconditionally or things that you have created. Two, engaging breakthrough ideas or activities that support transitions or loans that you're in the midst of. Three, accepting invitations for new adventures among friends and partners. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now you have been going through a transformation around what you love unconditionally. This has been a time of letting go and rebuilding. Now this week, you will begin to see how these actions are supporting you and what you can do to continue to build support around things that are truly um, things that you're really, really passionate about Libra. Now you may have a breakthrough around a transformation that you're going through this week because of this reflection. I definitely encourage you to look for out of the box ideas and consider propositions that make you feel just on fire and alive, excited to step into them and see where they lead. Now, there's also a lot of energy this week supporting networking, friends, allies, and new partnerships. You may meet a new group of people or a person that can help guide you with some of the decisions that you're trying to make now. Keep an open mind and focus on who you want to become. This will help you use the energy to make the right decisions and partnerships. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reviewing the foundations and structures in your life. Two, working with breakthrough ideas or shifts around partnerships. Three, actively pursuing opportunities that impact your health and your wealth. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. For a while now, you've been rebuilding the foundations in your life. This week, you will begin to see the results of these changes. Now, you may find that your view has been too narrow or that there's opportunities that are waiting on you. There's also a lot of activity happening around your partnerships that could play into this area of your life. Look for ideas that excite you. You also have a powerful, powerful rush of energy impacting your career and your reputation and the work that you do. This is a great time to set goals and ambitions around your health and your wealth. Now, as Mercury moves into Virgo, communicating your ambitions to groups or even one-to-one -one will be easier. This is a great time to network and reach out to others. Look for contacts that will support these areas of your life and add to the foundations that you are evaluating this week. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reviewing the structures around your daily routines and how you communicate. Two, working with breakthrough inspiration around your health or your work. Three, using expansive ideas that create pathways to help you share your message with a larger audience. Now let's talk about why these are your top three. Now for a while now, you have been really fortifying the structures and topics around your day-to-day -day routines, definitely around how you communicate. 
Now, this is report card week. You will see your successes and where support is still needed. There's also a heightened energy around just what you do day in and day out. This has a lot to do with just overall work and health. Now, the focus here will help you realign with a direction that supports a purpose that you're passionate about, that you hold close to your heart. Your creativity and passions and loves have been growing rapidly. There's so much focus here. This week, it's possible that you may find a way to share them with a larger audience or that a new mentor can help you further expand your creativity and kind of tap into this vast potential that you have. Now, as Mercury moves into Virgo this week, communication around your career and reputation and topics that have to do with health and wealth will accelerate for you. Use this energy to communicate needed transitions in your life. Follow that inner fire and you cannot go wrong. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, taking a close look at your finances and value systems. Two, working with breakthrough excitement around things that you have created, your passions. Three, using opportunities blooming around your home. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, restructuring your finances and fortifying what you find to be valuable has been an ongoing task for you. This week, you will see a reflection of how these actions are currently supporting you and what you need to do going forward. You may feel inclined to lighten or tighten your budget or possibly seek advice or support about how you can do either. Now, you may also be extremely inspired by something that you're passionate about or that you have created. There is a lot of booming, expansive energy around things that you love unconditionally and also in an area that's really close to home around your foundations. Like think about people, places and things that you hold close this week, you may find a blessing or a gift that's flowing into this area of your life, especially around your home. Now, Capricorn, if you follow your passions and keep your values center in your mind, you will be able to make the most of the opportunities that reveal themselves this week. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reviewing the structures around your health, partnerships, home, and reputation. Two, using the breakthrough inspiration found in your foundations are close to home. Three, working with the rush of communication and activity that you find in your day-to-day -day routines and rhythm. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, you've been going through a period of time that has asked you to restructure every corner of your life, to release what is not in alignment with your path, and to build foundations that support your purpose. This week, you will see a reflection of what has been accomplished so far. Notice where you feel aligned and then also what feels out of place. This awareness will reveal what needs your attention and invite in the tools that you need to make these changes. Now, there's likely to be a lot of passion and energy surfacing around your home or your foundations this week. These ideas will help you see what changes you can actively work on starting now. The top To top this energy off, your daily routines and how you communicate will be extremely empowered, especially by your partnerships as you move through this week. Look for new ways to express yourself and find a rhythm that supports you in every area of your life. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reflecting on what needs to be supported both within and without. Two, using inspirational breakthroughs to communicate and find a rhythm that supports you. Three, working with expansive growth around your values that impact your health and your wealth. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, you have been working on restructuring emotions or stories that you normally keep very private, hidden, under wraps. 
This week, you will see how those behind the scenes actions have supported you so far. You may find that there's more to release, a reason to celebrate how strong you've become. Now, it's likely that there's also going to be a lot of energy booming around your local environment, people, places, and things that you communicate with every day. Now, if there's something that you want to say that you normally keep hidden or private, this would be a great week to ex express yourself. I would also encourage you to look for fun, creative people that really inspire you to take action and motivate you to be the most authentic version of yourself at all times. Now, recently, there has been a lot of growth around your earning power, your values, your skill set, and your self-esteem. I do think that this week you may find that this area is further supported. It's possible that new or unexpected funds could flow into your life, which is always good news. And by doing so with this gift that you're receiving, this is going to really build your self-esteem and give you a healthier rhythm in your overall daily routines. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Aries, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reviewing the structures around your dream and those that who support them. Two, working with breakthrough ideas that build your self-esteem are your earning power. Three, leaning into your creativity and how you express your individuality. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, Aries, you've been working on structures that support your dreams. This week, you're going to take a hard look at this area of your life and to see and see if it's in alignment with what you're also passionate about. This is my dream, and this is what I'm passionate about, and they are in sync. Now, you may find that you are on track or that you need to make some adjustments. Either way, I want you to appreciate how far you've come and commit to the rest of the journey. This week, there's also a lot of energy around your earning power, your self-esteem, any kind of skill set that you have. As Mercury moves into Virgo, you will find that your focus dials into your work and your health and all those topics that support them. So Aries, this week, look for breakthrough or unexpected motivation and actively work to align yourself with a path that you feel definitely feeds into those passions and something that also feeds into your resources and your self-esteem. Now, speaking of passions, you have a lot of energy around things that you love unconditionally. Now, these are people, places, and things. It could be businesses. I definitely hope it's people and just loves in your life. I definitely encourage you to let passion lead the way. Let it be how people know you. Doing so will help you truly see the opportunities that are occurring almost at every corner of your life. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Taurus, let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses are going to be one, reviewing the structures around your career and your reputation. Two, using breakthrough ideas to impact every corner of your life. Three, working with the flow of communication in your daily routines to impact shifts that you're making. Now let's talk about why these are your top three. Attention around your career and reputation has been a focus for a while now. In this area of your life, you have looked at what's working and what is not working and made decisions to release or rebuild. Now this week, you're going to see the progress of those decisions. Notice where you feel like you're in a tug of war and where you feel really sound and secure. This will help you work out the opportunities that are going to start to reveal themselves. There's a lot of inspiration occurring at every corner of your life. Taurus, lean into what makes you feel in alignment with the goals that you have. Now, you currently have a nurturing flow into your daily rhythm and into how you communicate. I encourage you to use this energy to help facilitate changes that you want to make once this breakthrough energy begins to reveal itself. Taurus, this is a time of growth, which means that endings and beginnings live side by side. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time.
Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reviewing your personal convictions and how you share your message with the world. Two, using behind the scenes ideas to guide your ambitions. Three, communicating, networking, and supporting your dream. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. For a while now, you've been looking for ways to fortify your ambitions and share your message in a big way. This is report card week. We're going to see our progress. It's time to take a really deep look at your goals. Is there anything that you need to further restrict or build on? Now, as you reflect on this question, you're likely to find some inspiration that comes really deep within almost that subconscious level. Now, what surfaces here is meant to help realign you with soul deep goals. Be open and ready to communicate what needs to occur for endings and beginnings that you have in progress. You have all the words that you need to say right now. Now, speaking of communication, networking is going to be a hot topic for you this week, but more so in retrospect. You may find a contact that you overlooked or realized how strong a recent communication that you've had is and how you can work with it. Now, as you make these connections, keep your goals and passions in mind. This will help you make the most of this energy. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, your top three focuses are going to be one, reviewing where you are on the path of transformation or possibly something that has to do with loans and shared resources. Two, leaning into unexpected breakthroughs and excitement happening around your dream, friends, and allies. Three, working with the opportunities around your career and how this is supporting your values. Now, let's talk about why these are your top three. Now, Cancer, you're in the process of transformation. And within this transformation, you've had to let go of old stories and begin to build new foundations. This week, you will see how aligned you are with your personal values and this transformational process. Celebrate how far you've come and then bravely plan to continue to move through this fortification. Now this week, there's also a lot of heightened energy around your dream or something that has to do with allies and friends. Look for ideas or people to step forward that really inspire you or are like excited to help you. Dial into your inspiration and realign with your sense of purpose. Now your reputation and career have been going through a period of rapid growth. This week, you're likely to see this energy impacting your values, your resources, and your sense of self-esteem. As opportunities present themselves, keep in mind that the transformation that you're going through, like kind of say, okay, this is where I'm growing. So if this opportunity is going to support that, I really want to lean into that. You want to lean into what supports that overall sense of purpose that you have. Just keep that in mind. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, guys, that is everyone. I do hope you found some helpful tips about how you can work with this week's energy. Now, I did want to remind everyone, if you have not done it yet, please be sure to pick up your free report from Astrology Hub. We have a great report that really expresses your sun, moon, and rising. To grab yours, all you need to do is go to astrologyhub.com forward slash sun. All right, guys, have a great week. I'll see you next time. Are you looking for personalized guidance? Do you have questions about what you're meant to do and be in this lifetime? What you need in intimate relationships to really thrive? Or what major themes you'll be working with in the months to come? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you'll want to check out our personalized character and destiny and year ahead reports. These reports are perfect for you if you want professional insight into your astrology chart or year ahead. Written by internationally renowned astrologer, Adrian Ross Duncan. Your character and destiny report provides deep insight into who you are and what you came here to do, your biggest strengths and challenges, and how your astrological design impacts your career and relationships. The Essential Year Ahead Report gives you insights into the major themes you'll be exploring in your career, your love life, personal development, and much more. For only $37, you can get your personalized astrology report delivered straight to your inbox within minutes. Just go to astrologyhub.com reports to get yours today. 
That's astrologyhub.com slash reports. Thank you for listening to Astrology Hub Star Signed Horoscopes. If you'd like to easily jump to your personal horoscope, sign up to get a timestamp star sign episode emailed to you each Friday. Go to astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs and sign up now. That's astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs.